Well, we join this match in progress. Well, about 20 seconds of progress, as a matter of fact, and you are looking at world's girls champion, Moolah. Moolah the Magnificent, if you will, but Moolah. And Moolah is holding an arm lock on the challenger for the world's girls title. And the young lady with the Indian-type boots comes by it naturally. That's Winona Littleheart, who comes from Window Rock in Arizona, and she is a top flight challenger for the world's girls title. This event is for two out of three falls. It has a 45-minute time limit. The referee is Bronco Lubich and Mula, the veteran of the mat, now is caught in a hammerlock. And this huge crowd here at the Sam Houston Coliseum is happy to see Winona Littleheart move that arm further up behind the back of the champion. Mula, flying mare, and it broke the hold, and that's what she was after. <clears throat> so Mula, who knows all the moves and invented a lot of them, is in there with an arm whip and an arm strangle. But you can also see that she is trying to get in there with those choppers of hers and maybe to trim the nails of Winona Littleheart. That's Mula. She, she is trying to make life miserable for Winona and succeeding. The twist on the hand and she covers with that long hair of hers, she covers the the fact that she had was biting on those fingers, but I tell you, Winona's in trouble. When, when Mula starts getting the opportunity to maul you around, she does it and does it with a vengeance. She takes great pleasure in it. And she right now, as she shows off to the fans here, is telling them that she intends to do it again. And Winona Littleheart comes up with the standing arm lock and Moolah is complaining that the, the uh, hold was aided and abetted by having her hair pulled. Standing arm lock again. And Winona this time gets the hole broken because she was obviously not pulling the hair, but in the complaint of the champion and in the suspicions of the referee, she is convicted. Crowd here is trying to tell Bronco Lubich that it ain't so, she didn't do it. And this time it was Mula who snatched her down by the hair, and this time it's Mula who gets the hole broken, and Mula landed on her knee, and this is a bad move as far as Mula is concerned. She could be slowed up in this battle, and she can be pretty uh, fast mover when the situation demands it. So Winona takes her away from the ropes, gets a twisting leg lock, and it works well. Favorite hold of Dory Funk and Terry Funk, that spinning toe hold. And Mula found room that time to be able to move up, and oh, she came in with a vicious wallop that time, and... This kind of punishment is not the kind that is going to be good for Winona Littlehot. I don't think any kind of punishment is good, but she has the look of not a tough individual, but a very feminine type female, and she's going to have black and blue spots all over her. You can bet your boots on that. Quick switch, and... She ran right smack into the 
into the feet of Miss Mula. Now it's going to be who makes the first move in this. A crisscross and she's got her and she whips her over and there is a one, there's two, there is three. And Winona Littlehart wrapped her up with a sunset flip. She turned her loose that time and put a right smack on her back. A nice move. She had her doubled up well and Mula is complaining to the referee right now. There's the winner, Winona Littlehart. And Mula is trying to complain that she is, has two opponents. He is one fall behind. That's a good place for a challenger to be, to be a fall ahead in a match like this. And as so many, many people have mentioned, it sure would be nice to see an Indian girl as champion of the world. Mula trying to conceal something from referee Bronco Lubich as Winona complains that she's still got something that she has not, that he has not found. Reverse on bar, there's the move over and she comes up now with a, I just want to see what she's going to turn this into. She's got the, the makings of a leg scissor, she's got the makings of a short arm scissor, but she's got the arm and she's got her leg thrown over there to hang on to her. And there she gets pinned right back on, right rolled right on her shoulders. Good move. <laughs> and Winona's good move is nullified by the efforts of Mula to stay off her back. She just reached up and snatched her by the hair and then brought her down. And again, she comes around there with that hand and finds the hair of the Indian and tries to scalp her. There again, he she rolls her up and again, Mula this time comes knocking her back to e equalize things. Oh, 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 Well, she is well padded there, so it's uh, natural padding too. In behind is Little Heart. She was trying to get her into a body scissor. Now as she d comes out of it, she does have her and Winona Puts the squeeze on. She's got the legs right in place just under the ribs, which is a good area to put the squeeze where you find the soft spot between the hips and the and the rib cage. And Winona now is trying to boost her up and now comes the effort by the champion to pin. And she hit, <laughs> she hit bottom. And she hit hard. <laughs> and the crowd is telling Winona to do it again. And do it again. She tries and do it. Oh, she does. <laughs> Mula caught in the body scissor. And again, Winona looks for permission from the crowd and they tell her to go ahead and do it. Nice work. She flipped her over there. Good. Well, the nice work has to be followed up by more of the same. And that time she missed the effort. On top, we've got Mula. There's one, there's two. We've got a fall. Mula comes over to take the equalizing fall as she glues Winona Littleheart to the canvas. So, Bronco Lubitsch steps in there to say something to Mula, and we say to you that we'll be back here in a moment. Now the bell for the third and final fall of this battle between World's Girls champion Mula and Winona Littleheart.
Indian challenger from Window Rock, Arizona. And Mula can look a referee right square in the eye and lie to him, and she can make it very difficult to find her guilty of something she says she doesn't didn't do. Well, <laughs> front headlock, and this time she ripped her across the face, and Mula has had experienced teachers. She has had some of the best male grapplers in the game who have uh, trained her in the tricks that men are capable of doing, and she has a man's attitude toward, toward wrestling, and that is that the way for her to remain champion is to whomp her opponent and, and make it as quickly her contest as possible. Winona Littlehart inside step over to hold and there's the opportunity for at least a one count by Brock Olivich. She leans in on it. Winona leans in on it. She leans in there tight and snaps the leg up. This is a good hold. And Mula knows it. That's why she's come up with one of her own. When you reverse this hold, it gives you exactly the same hold. The position of the legs is such that you get exactly the same leverage when you're able to complete it all the way. Mula wants to complete it even further. She wants to go, go ahead and pin the Indian girl by reaching in for a little extra balance. And so she leans into the hold and she does get the balance. And she is taking every inch of advantage that she possibly can. As Mula says, that's the way I stay champion. And underneath, we've got Bronco Lubitsch. <laughs> well, <laughs> Bronco Lubitsch, and he's got legs and arms wrapped around him there, but there he is. He came out in true Yugoslavian style with a grimace on his face, and he doesn't know which one of them he wants to haul off and slug. Mula has convinced him, or at least tried to convince him, that Winona Littlehart is the, the one who made, made the error. Tied up the referee. I guess Bronco's kind of pleased that he has come out of this with a full skin. Indian war dance. She comes into a headstand head scissor. At least she was able to throw her, and she goes in again. Catches it nicely. Winona trying to set Mula up. Set her up and knock her down. Winona on top. This is the final fall. The one that wins this fall is going to be world's girls champion. That blow missed, the drop kick missed, and it gives Mula the advantage. There's one, there's two, there's three, and we've got a three count. And we've got the winner and still the world's girls champion. So the fabulous Mula retains her title as she has done so many times by the things that she knows and not always by the preponderance of her wrestling ability. But Winona Littlehart has made a lot of fans in this audience. They like her, and we like her too.